The Red Kettle Project is in full effect during the holidays, but this year the Salvation Army says they're in more need of help. KLBK's Brenda Lipinski has more on what is needed to help their cause. Good afternoon. You can hear this familiar sound all around town and the smiling faces that greet you. But this year, the Salvation Army is in need. Just, we've not been unable to cover the number of locations that, that we um, like to cover. And because of that, um, the uh, donations are down. Jaime Torres says he's been there. a bell ringer for the Salvation for some time. And I've done made a career out of this. I started doing it when I was 23, and now I'm going to be 41. He's developed his own techniques to get people to donate. Oh, I got my little thing where I do if I see a guy coming in the store with a lot of muscles, I tell him he can't take those guns in there. But apart from the cheerful greetings, he says he knows firsthand how important the Red Kettle Project is. When I stayed in Waco before, I was homeless out there and Salvation Army helped me out. So that's my story. And I remember that. And he says there's a need for more volunteers. Um, with, there's 33 locations here in Lubbock that you should see the kettle and everything on. But right now, if you just go around town, there's not no there's no bell ringers. There's just no bell ringers. They only have eight. And if you're volunteering, you gotta have a sweatshirt, t-shirt. You never know what the weather's gonna be like. But if you don't have time to volunteer and want to give, there's credit card options and Apple Pay and... If folks are doing their shopping, they see a kettle right stand now. and a kettle that's unmanned, uh, that's okay. They can continue uh, to give. It just means that we don't have personnel to cover uh, that location that day. Brenda Lipinski, KLB.